Anthony Arvig here with another Lake Duval Volleyball Player Profile. I'm joined by another senior in Mara Krish. Mara, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for having me. And uh, Lakeview Volleyball, when you talk about it, you got to use the word dominant because they've been absolutely dominant inside the NE8 the last two seasons. What has it been like kind of being on this ride with the volleyball team and, and having so much success with, with uh, your teammates? Well, it's been like a great time and a lot of attention is on us right now because we're winning and we're 10-0 and right now. So it's just been a great time. Do you guys ever feel like even though that there's a little bit of attention on you guys that compared to some of the other volleyball programs in the area, you kind of fly under the radar a bit because you're out in Portland. Not a lot of people get to see Lakeview a lot. Do you ever feel like you're, you're kind of under the radar even though you're 10-0? I mean, a little bit. Like, um, our community definitely watches us and gets us out there. And, like, they still watch us. So that's all that matters. I'll tell what uh, the NE8 knows who you are very well. I mean, when you look at that conference, it's not a uh, slump of a conference. There are a lot of very competitive programs in there. What would you attribute uh, to your success in the conference in the last two or three years? Um, I think that we have such a good coaching staff and our team just like works so well together. So all of that put together just makes us such a good team. Just two seniors on the team, you and Anna, that's it. So the leadership is on your, on your guys' shoulders. What, what kind of things have you guys done to, to lead this team this year? Um, we try and keep everyone in a good mood. So we play better together on the court. We do a lot of things out of volleyball and we just try and stay positive the whole time throughout all of everything going on right now in quarantine and things like that. You know, keeping everyone positive was so important in the summer. You know, there was so much uncertainty. Didn't know if there was going to be a volleyball season. What did you guys as seniors kind of do to try to keep everyone kind of mentally, you know, in the game of volleyball and, and try to keep everyone positive? We just kept telling everyone that we were going to have a season and thought positive about the whole season. When, uh, when you got the green light, there was going to be a volleyball season and you guys finally got together to work. What was some of the team goals that you guys set this year? Um, we wanted to make it all the way. And so far we're doing pretty well at that. And then we just wanted to play as a team. And no matter if we won or lost, we just wanted to stay as a team and stay positive the entire time. How would you describe um, your leadership qualities personally? I think that I keep everyone very energetic the entire time at least I feel that way and I want to keep everyone happy and everyone just to want to be there like I don't want anyone there that doesn't want to be there energy and momentum so important in volleyball you're one of the energy people but you got to stay six feet away from everyone so yeah. you know, no more huddles after a point what kind of things have you as have your program done to kind of Keep that positive momentum going during a match, but also try to keep that social distancing uh, rule. I think we just cheer much louder and stay away from each other and just smile really big. <laughs> uh, you guys have one of the better social media, you know, presences in the area. What's it like kind of trying, you know, running that Instagram, the TikToks and the videos and what, what does that do for your program? I just, I think it makes it look like we're having so much fun, which we are. So especially like having our TikToks, like showing everyone what our game days look like. When uh, you go into a place in the NEA, you know the targets on your back. What's that kind of mentality like? Because you know everywhere you go, you're going to get that team's best shot because you're the big dogs in, in the conference. Yeah, I think that since everyone wants to target us, like it just makes us want to win even more. And especially like since we're 10-0, that we want to keep that going. And it just seems pretty cool to have a record like that. Have you guys ever had to fight complacency in, the, in this season or, or, or in the last couple of seasons of dominance, and dominance where maybe you have to stop yourselves from mentally relaxing against a team that you've beaten earlier this season or, or whatever it may be? Um, yeah, we try and play like we haven't played them before and just play how we know how to play. 
rather than if their team is a little bit slower than we play, then we want to stay we, how we play. You brought up your coaching staff earlier. Just talk about the staff and, and what it's like being under them and what they've done to help you guys grow, not just as volleyball players, but I imagine grow as people as well. Yeah, the coaching staff is honestly amazing. Like, I love going to practice and games every single day, like, to see them, and they just make me laugh. And they're making me better as a person, even as a volleyball player, too. Give us an insight, because we all see Lakeview – coaches you know on the sidelines but what's what's the Lakeview coaches like you know inside the practices and, and outside of games and, and everything like that what, what's the inside of the end of the program well we can laugh and joke around and then there's times where we need to be serious and she keeps everything intense both coaches do so that brings us back to you know being intense and still being able to joke around with each other and have a good time when you only have two seniors on the team, it's kind of a bittersweet thing because you know that the program's probably going to be successful for a while because you're not losing a lot of people. But on the other end, you and Anna probably still want to leave the program a little bit better than the way it was when you got there. So what's that kind of been like, knowing that the program is kind of set for success for the next couple of years, but also trying to live up your senior season? Well, we wanted to leave a mark on the season and even just – the four years we've been playing. So now that there's a lot of freshmen coming up, like I really hope that they keep that going and everything just works out. You guys do a lot with your seventh and eighth grade too. I see the love that you guys give them on social. How, imp how much of an importance do you guys put on making sure that the seventh and eighth graders know that even up in the varsity level, you guys are watching them and you care about what they're going through. That way when they come into the varsity program, they're ready to make it succeed just like you did. Well, I want them to come up and know that this is an, a lot more intense game and it's faster. So with them knowing that, like, they'll try and keep going and, like, win, keep winning and have a good time while doing that. When you look back, it's been four years. What are some of your favorite memories with, with Lakeview Volleyball? Well, in the game volleyball, I'd say – my sophomore year, we played a really strong team with really strong hitters. And I was just a little sophomore and um, a senior at the time on that team hit a ball at me and I got it up. And I just remember my whole team coming together and cheering me on. Like, it still gives me chills about it. <laughs> what, uh, what makes you proud to, to wear the blue and, and to be a Lakeview Bulldog and to be a part of that school system? I think that, um, we all just like show that we have a good time and even in the sport we all just like know what we want to happen for each other and wearing my number in blue all the time like just a good time and I know I'm a part of Lakeview and it's a good thing. It doesn't hurt that you guys have some really slick uniforms going on with that. I love the the black on the blue. Yeah uh, me too. It, just, it's, it looks really really slick. Um, what kind of things when you graduate are you going to look back on and say favorite memories, not just with volleyball, but with the whole high school experience? Um, I'm going to say probably my friends, like they've made high school a lot of fun and just all of the sports that I've played and my teachers, they're all great teachers and just the community, like everyone is so nice to each other and yeah. You brought up the teachers. Are there any teachers that have had a significant impact in you over your high school journey? Yeah, definitely. My um, sophomore year, I had such a good English teacher, and she just made English fun for me. And her name's Miss Hogue, but I love her so much. Are you someone, because uh, when I talk to people, they're either really good at English <laughs> or really good at math. Are you one of those people that you thrive in English and you struggle in math? Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> um, what, what is your favorite kind of pregame routine that you have that kind of keep yourself ready to go before a match? I think that before we even get to the gym, whatever we're doing, I think I am having a good time with my team. And then once we get to the gym, a little, I'm a little bit more focused. And I have like a certain hair tie that I wear 
that I feel has luck on it so far this it. season. <laughs> and then we pray before our games and we just get really hype, like in our warm up too. What, uh, what's your pregame playlist kind of look like? What kind of things get your team <laughs> really hyped up for a game? Well, I just ask at the beginning of the season, like, what's everyone's favorite song at the moment? And then I put a lot of songs that I like and I know the team will like. It's just music that will either get us dancing or songs my coach even likes, too. So I'm talking to the runner of the team playlist. Yeah. That's a lot of power. That is yeah. a lot of power. Um, we've talked to a couple of your teammates, and the one thing that comes up is the home court advantage that you guys have. Really mm -hmm. You guys play in a small gym. It gets really hot in there, and you can tell that some teams don't really uh, get used to the conditioning that it takes to play in that gym. What kind of advantage does that give you guys when you're so used to playing in there and you can just be conditioned to go out, and if you have to, you can play five sets, no problem? We're so used to the heat. Like, we would even practice in there in the summer, like 90 degrees out, and we're in that gym, and we have a fan blowing – but we're so used to it now, except when someone dives on the ground and there's sweat, we have to take a moment and clean that up <laughs> so no one slips. <laughs> um, what, uh, what is it about um, that gym that makes, makes it home? You know, that there's, every gym has something about it that, you know, I talk to players and they say that it makes it home. What is it about your gym that kind of makes it home for you guys? I think the big bulldog on the wall just – definitely defines Lakeview and just being in there just gives back so many memories so that makes it home for me just all the memories I have in there. Uh, you guys have already had your senior parent night it was early in the season just in case so what was that kind of like you know going through the emotions of senior parent night but also knowing that you had a lot of matches left to play? It was so weird like I wasn't completely upset about it being senior night because I knew I had so many more games left, but it was still a good time. When you do have that last home game, do you think it's going to have the same impact that it would if you had a normal senior night? I think I'm going to ball my eyes out. Just like it being over and that's my last time playing in that gym for volleyball. It's just going to be so different. What are some of your future plans after high school? Um, I plan on going to college and I'm, think I want to major in business and minor in photography, but I still have my options open. And with all these player profiles, we like to give the player the chance to kind of thank whoever they want to thank and part of their support system, a part of their support staff, people that have been there for them out throughout the years. So with that, I think the time is yours to, to thank whoever you want to thank at this time. I definitely want to thank my family for always being there and supporting me especially my grandparents. They're always at every single game and my parents too, for being there too. And my coaches, they always make me laugh and they made me such a better person than when I walked in as a little freshman. And then I want to thank my teammate, teammates for sure. They're, they always have my back and know how to keep a positive attitude. And then especially Anna, because she's always been there and just makes me laugh all the time. Before we let you go, I want to have some fun, get to know you a little bit. So when quarantine kept us all inside for a couple months and, and, you know, we had to stay in the house, what was your favorite quarantine activity? Definitely watching Netflix. Right. Okay. What was the uh, Netflix go-to binge show for quarantine? Um, probably Gossip Girl, Grey's Anatomy, between those two. And everyone's going throwbacks with these. I love it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So then what is your favorite post-game meal that you have? Like, what's, what's the thing that you want to eat after a hard volleyball match? Um, I usually just come home after my games and um, whatever is on the dinner table is what I eat. <laughs> oh, that's uh, – what? just put food in whatever front of me. Whatever my I'll dad eat makes. Um, what, what's your favorite um, – thing to do with your team like team bonding activity that you've had with with Lakeview Volleyball? Um, team bonding definitely pranking my coach that's always the best time it's so funny and a couple years back we we pranked the wrong house <laughs> 
so my coach had to wake up and she texted us and she was like um did you guys like not prank me like normal and we were like uh yeah we did <laughs> All right, Mara, thank you so much for joining me today and, and letting us get to know you a little bit. We um, definitely wish you luck in, the, in all your future, and we look forward to seeing what Lakeview Volleyball does uh, for the rest of the season. Thank you.